everybody. Today I'm going to talk about uh, monetization UI and key aspects of that. Uh, as an example here I'm going to be using the demo organization Cost Affinity and um, the first page you land is dashboard but then what you can see you also if you have monetization enabled product or if you're going to see the monetization tab and the first thing you're going to go you're going to go under admin and see other additional tabs here let me walk through you so first tab is organization profile on this page you actually set up the organization profile uh, given the name information and you give the currencies that you want to support and you give the terms and conditions you want to expose to the developers next page if you have bank accounts linked, you will, you can set up the bank account. This bank account is going to be used for uh, basic uh, statement generation and the uh, build billing documents generation. The next step is notification. Uh, on this page, you can select uh, notifications your organization wants to support. An example would be notify all developers, and you can have various various options to notify on what event uh, right now notifications are based on the emails and we have some templating done you can modify the templates modify affected developers if it's for example new rate plan or uh, terms and conditions are not accepted or expired uh, some things like expired rate plan or rate, rate limit exceeded when your developer exceeded the rate, rate plan limits so the developer can go and actually take some action, maybe subscribe to different rate plan or add additional balance. Uh, you can also start in the start setting the notifications for developers sign up for new rate plan, building documents generated by the system. Um, in this section, you can notify API provider is basically you about any additional um, uh, actions uh, or events happening in the system. Now, the webhooks. Uh, you can also the uh, uh, you can also specify webhooks. Uh, webhooks being used for setting up the adjustable notification rate plan. This is a specific type of rate plan, and you, Whenever event happens in that rate plan, one of these web hooks is going to be generated uh, and executed. Um, the next step is monetization tab. You can uh, take a look at the reports, some basically pre-generated reports. You can also generate some revenue reports or variance reports. And you can uh, create the report if you want by specifying some dates and uh, specifying the type of report. And then you can download the CSV file for that report. Adjustments. Adjustments tab is actually uh, for organization where you want to set the adjustment for, spe you, for specific developer. And for my organization, it's not enabled right now. Um, uh, credits. Credits is um, you can give developer a credit, a specific credit, and you can give them the credit on the uh, package, product, a category, and currency specific amount in nodes if there are some nodes given. Also refunds. If the the, the balance was updated with the current support in transaction um, being processed by payment provider, you can find the, the transaction and issue the refund. You can do the partial refund or full refund by going to this page. Billing documents page. Billing documents page allows you to generate billing documents and manage the billing doc documents. Uh, and billing documents configuration, this is where you can figure what are the uh, headers and footers in the PDF billing documents going to look like and other, other properties like text settings, like document logo and address that's going to appear on the PDF. Now we're going to go to the products. That's uh, existing page in under edge offering. 
but now you can see additional button here that's transaction recording policy button where you can click and add transaction recording policy for a specific product now we gotta go packages uh, monetization allows you to manage uh, to package a set of products into the package and an exposed package under different pricing models different rate plans uh, this page, this is the management page that allows you to manage all the offerings you have and allows you to search and manipulate the visibility on the developer portal. There is a tab called product settings. This is a shortcut that you want to use, you can use to set up the transaction recording policy. The transaction recording policy page looks like that, where you actually set what are the transactions you want to be uh, rated by monetization and if you have additional more complex scenarios like capturing the gross price or net price for revenue sharing model or current currencies based on coming from the API request itself to be extracted from the API request you can specify everything here now if you go companies uh, that's where you manage the companies and uh, you are able to uh, assign multiple developers to the same company From monetization perspective, the, the key functionality you're going to be using is the packages where you'll be, you'll be specifying the, the um, packages and the rate plans and various types of rate plans. An example here I'm going to show this is the adjustable notification rate plan. This rate plan, uh, when you set the rate plan, it, it accepts the let me show you. It accepts the notify function, and that's where you specify your webhooks that you want to be executed at this percentage rate. That concludes my general overview of the monetization UI and all the tabs available there. Thank you for listening.